what's happening YouTube how's it going everybody welcome back to another episode of aquaporn with me Steve just bringing you a quick update on my do-it-yourself reef controller LED controller yeah I'm still tinkering away with this uh, I do it in my spare time I'm in no real hurry uh, to get it all done because it's doing pretty much what I want it to do right now and so everything else I add is just kind of gravy uh, what I've added at this point is something for my LED control. This is the master LED control status screen. Tells me where my uh, moonlighting is at. It tells me my maximum values and percentages of each of my color channels. This right here is what I've now added. I've added uh, a feature where I can turn them all on or off meaning before it was just running on a 12 hour lighting schedule it was kind of the default I could go to the screen and mix my colors but I couldn't have it just on or off in a manual fashion it was always just defaulted to the 12 hour uh, lighting schedule which didn't bother me because I had sunrise sunset but some of you out there who've been kind of following me particularly USB Shark Boy might like this feature, Dale U2. Um, so essentially I added these indicator buttons and you can switch between manual on and off, a 12 hour lighting schedule, or an 8 hour lighting schedule. And so basically how it works is this just as simple as hitting the button. So you hit the on off, I'm much farther from it than I can see, there we go. On off. Now I'm in the middle of my sunrise so you could see the difference. Uh, so I choose a 12 hour schedule and right now I'm still in the dawn period. I have a two hour dawn period and a two hour dusk period in the 12 hour lighting schedule and uh, the eight hour lighting schedule hasn't been written yet. I'm just kinda it's so these both are the same schedule right now. I'm hoping it's as easy as copying and pasting and then just uh, changing some of the hour values to get the eight hour schedule. Another thing here that I've done is you cannot choose, you cannot uh, conflict and choose like two. So if it's on 12 hour and you choose eight hour, eight hour comes on, 12 hour goes off. Or if you go to the manual on and off, manual on and off comes on and the the lighting schedule becomes false and turns off so you can't make a mistake and double choose one it will always uh, just flip to the next one so now you got manual control on and off or the 12 hour lighting schedule which was the default and then soon to be coming on here I'll have the 8 hour schedule the 8 hour schedule and 12 hour like I said is the same right now so that's kind of what I'm tinkering around. It's baby steps, small steps. I'm, you know, I'm starting to itch to get it done, but I'm in no real hurry. The only hurry I have is to get it done for y'all out there that are kind of following me on this and kind of using it. I'll be posting the code at aqcenter.net. It's usual place. Come down, see the build thread. Uh, still looking for some great C programmers to kind of help me. Maybe it'd be going a little faster. Uh, guy from New, e New Zealand, rather, Steve, is going to be working on our dosing code. He's he's nearly finished with that, and uh, I can't help him out with that as nearly as much as I would like to. So let's get to the dosing screen. So this will be the dosing screen. I've showed everybody this before. Uh, you can't see it on the camera because my camera just doesn't pick it up as well as I'd like. Someday I'll invest in a new camera. But you choose your milliliters here, and then you'll hit this to activate the pump. There's a calibration screen where you can prime the pump or calibrate it. And that'll all be coming to you soon, because like I said, he's nearly there. He, he nearly broke through. Comment, rate, subscribe, follow this build, give me ideas on what I should add, what I should subtract, that type of thing. And uh, hopefully we get a genius out there that wants to help me out. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.